I just want to point out, right, look how white my teeth look. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't seen on TikTok, I'm addicted to TikTok, you guys know this. Um, if you haven't seen TikTok, there's something called He Smile or High, High Smile. You know, if you've got blonde hair and you use purple shampoo to get rid of the yellow in your hair, they've made it into a toothpaste. Trust me, it does taste nice, alright? It's not like shampoo. Um, and honestly, you don't use it every day, you use it like every other day. And my teeth have never looked whiter. Seriously, there's no editing on this at all, alright? Uh, and it looks amazing but I use like purple shampoo one day and then a normal toothpaste and bicarbonate soda the other day uh the, the day after and it has just made a massive difference of my teeth all right because I know a few people want to know what I use to wipe my teeth because they are natural they are real and uh, I'm very 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 lucky so yes that high smile stuff is fantastic anyway hello everybody welcome to my channel that was very high pitched wasn't it I'm in touch with my Slytherin side today don't know why I'm feeling the Slytherin look this was the t-shirt from uh, the celebration of Slytherin at the Warner Brothers Studios last year when they first built the Slytherin common room and um, so even though yes I say I'm part Slytherin I wasn't a Slytherin then but I had to have my t-shirt because this t-shirt is amazing and the snake pattern goes all the way around it and at the bottom I don't know if you can see it but it says the celebration of Slytherin it's such a brilliant t-shirt if you haven't seen that video then check out the link above because i did do a whole kind of big wow about the studio tour and i showed you around the new slytherin common room and just to kind of top it off i am using the slytherin locket wand by warner brothers studios as you can see the all important stamp there to prove that is official and uh, and it is absolutely stunning love 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 this wand but as i always say I'm going to put it back before I break it. Well, I say that, it just goes there <laughs> until I put it back. Anyway, today is obviously the giveaway Wednesday. I didn't do giveaway Wednesday because if you saw other parts of this room, you will realise what I meant. Now, I've managed to clean the floor for, right, for me to get in here and film today, right? But we're actually doing the shed. This is what the outside of the shed looked like. And that's only half of the shed empty. Because I've got... It's a shed, but it's not. It's actually a studio. It's very big. Um, inside is massive. So there is a lot of stuff in it, as you can imagine. Because obviously, I used to be a prop maker. Um, and we're actually looking at selling the throne soon. So I've obviously got the full-size throne. Because I want to take my kids to Florida. And even though you've got House of Dragons and stuff coming out, I can't see us doing any more tours with the throne. We're both so busy. Adam works two jobs. I'm constantly working at home being a full-time mum and then obviously doing my master's in September. So it's going to be very, very difficult for us to actually do any conventions. So the throne is being sold. Now, I'll tell you, we're doing the other half tomorrow. So I might do a video of us sorting it out because this is where it gets cringy, right? I haven't cleaned that shed out in about four years, okay? So it was getting more and more packed with stuff that we didn't need, like just rubbish. Harry's toys that he didn't play with anymore, you know, when he was a toddler and so on. Uh, loads of like DVDs that we never watch anymore, so they'll probably go to charity shops and so much more, right? Well, the size of these freaking Aragogs. Aragog has started a family in my shed. I kid you not there i was right outside the shed you've got beautiful doors okay because my mum bought it for me as a gift she's so lovely because she wanted me to be able to do my prop making in my own like area so i wouldn't have to be charged rent and stuff like that so she bought me my shed my studio and on the left hand side we had some tiles left over and i can't remember why we had tiles i think it's because when grandpa steve as my kids call him do the um all the pr plugs and everything on the inside because there's electricity so we've got the, the fr freezer in there and i've got my lights in there and everything but once that was done, we, I think he was going to put the tiles on top of the wire that Adam had already built the trench for. And then we were going to put earth on top. So that's why these tiles, they're about that big house tiles. And they are covered in webs. And I mean thick, thick, thick white webs with holes where obviously the spider's coming in and out. So you know there's some big MFs in there, right? There is some big MFs in there, yeah, that could charge me rent, okay? I could charge them rent, all right? I think I would have if, if I hadn't scared them off because I was so scared of them. But there I was, right, with my khaki kind of gloves on. They look like Hag something Hagrid would wear. 
you know drag and hide sort of thing you know like this and I'm, I'm bending over but trying to keep my back straight because my back is obviously bad so I've got to be careful I'm with my spider spray that I'm afraid to say does kill spiders but I will explain why in a minute and I've got my barbecue tongs in the other hand right barbecue tongs yeah yeah, bar but you got this now, barbecue tongs. So I'm spraying one hand, barbecue tongs with the other. I got them around the wrong way. Right, like this, yeah? And Harry's got a can of spray as well, right? So he's ready. And I'm getting the barbecue tongs and I'm putting them underneath and flipping them over. These things are quite long, these tongs. So I was well away from these. And every time we flipped them over, there was probably about 30 there, right? 30 tiles. I kid you not, the size of these spiders were humongous and the legs alone were so thick and I do have to say we did have to kill them because among all these spiders were quite a few large false black widows because we've got a terrible problem with them in our garden they're everywhere they are absolutely everywhere and I know they don't like living in homes but I ain't taking any chances and these can put you in hospital you know these things and so there I am pushing these over right and I'm spraying and they were about that big which is quite big for false black widows they don't normally grow very big and these were a nice size and big bodies you know if you squished them they'd go and um, so obviously I sprayed them and then if they didn't die straight away I would flick them into the hedge oh anyway I had such a head on me right saying right a lot aren't I it's because I'm nervous talking about these freaking eight-legged things um, I had such a head on me and I was trying to be brave for Harry that I was fine we got rid of all the tiles or at least moved all the tiles cleared all of the spiders and their eggs and everything we cleared it all we sprayed them and then brushed them off right because we will be needing those tiles at some point and that was all clear and I finally went into the shed and I don't know whether it's because I was inside a building surrounded by places where spiders could hide. By this time it was pretty much empty, but I still knew there were loads of nooks and crannies where they could hide inside the wood and so on. Because there's no like insulation in there. It's wood with tiny holes where you can, where the, like, the weather's kind of, I don't know, expanded and, or, or shrunk the wood or something. But bless Adam, I'll come to that in a minute. And there I am and I freaked because I was inside this area where it, they could actually come at me. And I know that sounds stupid, but that's an ar arachnophobic for you. And I was literally standing there talking to Adam and you could see the hairs on my arm were literally going up like this because I was starting to freak out. You know how Will is in Stranger Things? Yeah, that was me, yeah? The Demigorgon was the spiders, yeah? So I was pretty freaked out. Anyway, managed to clear majority of it. Sprayed loads of spiders to get rid of them all because there, there was an infestation, a big infestation of spiders. And they were, some of them were like this with massive bodies. And I, I know they're not going to come in the house, but I'm still freaking out about it. So I was there with a the hoover clearing all this stuff up. Adam was there with a the hoover clearing all this stuff up. We got the brushes and we were cleaning everything and I had to go through all the drawers because obviously I've got a shed load of drawers in there, literally, um, full of like um, crafting equipment and things like that and I found two full drawers of plaster of Paris. I was like, this stuff cost a fortune and when I bought it, it was really cheap because I bought it from a recycling place and now the recycling place is closed down but I didn't know I had so much because I want to build something. I'm not telling you what, but I want to build something. So once the throne is gone, I am building this thing, right? And I want it to come in here somewhere. Anyway, so the plaster of Paris, so many uh, boxes, uh, uh, drawers of plaster of Paris. I took my drawers from in here with all my crafting stuff in, took that out into the shed. So the left-hand side of the shed is now done. I've got a table, I've got a radio that was at my dad's, so we've pinched that for him, um, from him to have in my... Um, my shed my studio i've got all my equipment in there i've got a lovely chair to sit on i've just got yeah i've got so much on that side but tomorrow um it's not going to be as bad with spiders but it's the entire right hand side of the studio we've got to clear out because we can only do one side at a time because it is really big but the webs in there are ridiculous so i'm hoping that because of all the movement that's in there i'm talking loads about this now but it's been such a traumatic time for me <laughs> anyway um but we we we've kind of made so much noise in there we sprayed so many spiders with this spray and i'm hoping because of that because of vibrations and stuff they will scatter they will leave so we've gone in there like the last two days we've been going in there and checking the area where we've cleared and everything's fine there was one spider in there today so i sprayed that that's gone and then the other side then 
um, we're going to clear that and bless Adam love him right we found a pack of silicon because I'm, I'm very much into my crafting stuff um, you know silicon how you, where you seal like uh, toilets and sinks and things but it was black and bless Adam he cut it open and he took the silicon and he covered in he filled in all of the holes on the left hand side so when they go to the right hand side he'll do the same thing the right hand side that took him ages to do and he did it without me asking I was so so kind of taken aback by that because he knows how panicked I get about spiders so he filled in all of the holes he could find which was so sweet of him he's seen a couple more that he wants to fill in so we're going to get some more silicon tomorrow and uh and yeah so tomorrow is going to be another web filled day of spiders i've been nagging dan to help me with the shed because he's, he's six foot he's, he's you know he's, he's uh, really strong and he's obviously he's 20 so he was more than capable of helping us and i've been nagging him and um he does work full time as well love him so when we were doing the shed we've got these beautiful um, swords uh, that we'd have when we had the throne out on tour so we've got a gorgeous long claw one from Game of Thrones an officially licensed one we've got two um, Lord of the Rings swords one Gandalf and one Aragorn um, that were actually from the film they were given to me by a, fr a friend of the producer who worked on the films and he said they're literally going to waste it so do you want them they're slightly damaged because they have been used in obviously during film and I've got no proof of what they are but this isn't the guy that's kind of gonna lie sort of thing he had a lot of connections in the film industry like Monica does bless her and so he gave me those years ago. So we've got a Gandalf sword and we've got Aragorn sword. Aragorn sword is huge. It's beautiful. The only thing about it is there's, I think there should be stones on it and there's some stones missing. But other than that, I said it's got all the writing down and everything. It's beautiful. And so I've literally said to him, look, they're going to waste in the shed. You can keep them. Have them. I know how much he loves swords. And my God, he hasn't stopped polishing them. But he's doing it properly. You know, Dan is very good with stuff. Um, and he hasn't stopped like you know wiping fingerprints off and he keeps looking at them and keeps showing me them and, and he's so proud you know to have these swords in his room but I felt really guilty he's been looking at them for years and we've always said no and now he's in his 20s you know he's so grown up love him that uh, he's very very clever with stuff like that so I've, I've let him have it as a gift I let them have them as a gift so yeah but tomorrow is the next day I will try and do a vlog <laughs> so you guys can see it because and I'll, I'll film these spiders right although they might not look as big on camera but oh, they're huge I'm waffling on right you know what and I obviously want to do this as a vlog as well of what's going on over the weekend over the week obviously what's uh, been going on is I couldn't film on Wednesday so I released today's video on Wednesday which was me trying on some holiday clothes and my god thank you so much you guys really helped with those clothes the ones you hated I hated the ones you loved I was like really do they look okay on me so actually one of them I took back so I've reordered it because you guys kept going on about it so much it was the blue with the pink flowers or pink petals so I've reordered that one they didn't have a size 16 in the stock so I've bought a size 18 so I just hope it fits um but the rest of them then I'm going to retry them on this week the ones you liked I have kept but there were some that I wasn't too sure about but it's a week Monday how crazy is that that we're flying to New York I'm literally going to talk about nothing else okay for the next week so please be prepared if you don't want to hear me whinging about what I haven't done and what I need to do then then don't worry you don't watch my videos for a week you'll be fine there's not as much to do now money is sorted I've thank you very much for everyone who's bought things on my eBay shop don't forget my beautiful uh, Gringotts crystal my beautiful Gringotts crystal you can see there it's a real crystal from chandelier from chandeliers at Gringotts and um, that actually ends today just after seven o'clock I think it's quarter past seven so you guys will have to um to take a look at that I'll put the link down below to my shop but I can't believe that this ends but this will be coming with the letter that I had with it, the little slip of paper I had with it, some of the emails that will tell you what they are, but there are some emails that I will keep back because they include some private conversations between myself and the lady I was speaking to. And uh, yeah, I'd rather keep them private, but you will get proof. And I once my printer decides to do something good, because it keeps doing this. 
this is what's happening when I print things out I've tried cleaning the headers and everything so I'm literally these are just testers these were but it keeps doing all these lines we're getting really fed up so I will try and get it fixed as soon as possible and I will do a um a Difficult authenticity, but as I said, this is just a test to this one. But it will be on parchment, and you will get it with this crystal. So it is beautiful, it is the only one that I am ever going to sell. So take that in. This is the only time you will ever, ever get hold of one. Okay, um, I'm only selling it because of New York, that's it, and because I gave one away to charity, which I've got, which is um, I can see it in front of me. Um, so I need to sort out the I need to sell the certificates for these really and I'm going to try and get them out as before I got to New York in fact I will get them out before I go to New York even if I bloody write a nice um thing on my parchment I will do a certificate of authenticity god damn it <laughs> but I will do one and you guys will be the proud owner of the only crystal ever sold of the Gringotts chandelier crystal bearing in mind it's up to 255 pound okay already um and it only started at 99p because i wanted to give everyone a chance so that is going to be sold today it's crazy i'm going to be so nervous watching it now so make sure that you guys have a look now obviously the giveaway was meant to be wednesday i have chosen a winner for these beautiful items so you have the stunning foiled jigsaw i'm sorry i've waffled on but you know you you, you guys love me chatting <laughs> we've got the stationery pack as well we have the what i really want is the niffler purse well, it's not niffler purse sort of exciting isn't it breaking the rules for manny granger we have the mini memo pads as well which are stunning there are three in there and we have the gorgeous sorting hat notepad which i really 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 want now these are all courtesy of the works i say courtesy and um, they are all from the works and they were incredibly cheap they are brilliant the works is online so if you want to get anything but i think it's only open to the uk unfortunately so the winner is that was my in, uh, like attempt at a drum roll <laughs> that was really crap and is david clark thank you very much for entering and congratulations you have the items from the works coming to you email me my email is down below or message me on instagram and i will get these items to you but congratulations david clark for winning the stationery items from the works so this week, the uh, this is the last giveaway now before um, I go to before I come back from New York. So this will be the last one. So this one will be open on Instagram and YouTube and probably Facebook as well. You guys have already seen this. They were shown to you on Monday. Uh, we have a gorgeous golden snitch eight color pen. So lovely. These items are from Primark. Okay absolutely lovely items all right so we've got the golden snitch pen and the stunning hogwarts diary i love this bit so posh and you get a lovely harry potter wand with it as well but it is such a gorgeous gorgeous notepad it's so 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 lovely this is and it's nothing kind of doesn't you can have it for like whatever days it's not like it's dated like 2020 2021 2023 sort of thing you know it doesn't matter you can have it for whatever year so that's what i like about it otherwise it gets a little bit complicated doesn't it you can only have like 2022 but this and this is now up for grabs you only have to do the items down below subscribe like share and follow me on instagram that is important for this one because this competition will be open across the social media platforms so these are the items. I hope you like them. So they are the items to win. It will be open until hopefully Wednesday next week, or should I say Wednesday this week coming? Oh my God, it's so close. And uh, and yeah, I shall speak to you later. Oh, and coming up this week, I don't know if you guys have seen it on Instagram, but I have a new tour, a new shelf tour coming up. It's only a small one but it's for all you disney fans out there it is amazing and yes i've put pictures on instagram but i have changed the way it looks and i've got to say it's looking pretty damn full right now 
I really hope you guys like it. So until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very, very soon. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe